you had some great teammates uh, along the way in, in Ramadi and all throughout your military career. One of the guys, uh, one of the stories in the book that really cracked me up is the fact that you had, you know, all these stories about war. It's, it's intense. It's high intensity. You have all this stuff. But you also had some guys like Ryan Jobs that was uh, nicknamed the Mad Shitter. Tell us why he got that nickname, and then we'll get into that. Yeah, <laughs> you can get into having some good teammates and why they've played some practical jokes or things like that. But uh, Kevin, tell us about the story about Ryan and uh, and the mad shitter. As I, you know, I'm so glad you asked me about Ryan Job and, and his nickname Biggles. Yeah, um, and yeah, the mad shitter because because normally it's like you know, hey, tell me about Chris and all that. And I've had <laughs> awesome teammates like Chris. Yeah, um, but but Biggles, R- Ryan Job, you know, we would all get along with Ryan Job fantastically. So he went to University of Washington. He played rugby there, drank too much, oh, failed nice. out, became a Navy SEAL. So <laughs> if any of your listeners have like kids in college that are failing out and playing rugby, you know, they're probably going to become a Navy SEAL. Me and Joe did it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So so jo- Ryan. He was the most unathletic person in the world looking. You know, you look at him, you're like, dude, that guy's not an athlete. But, man, that was the toughest son of a bitch that I'd ever met. You know, he worked harder than anybody else. You know those guys that, like, you, know, you do, like, a practice or you do a workout and then, you know, they're back at it after everybody leaves? That was Ryan Job. Ryan Job would work harder, train harder than anybody else. He didn't look the part of a SEAL, but he was every bit a Navy SEAL um, in his work ethic and his talent level. Uh, but he was a devious motherfucker. Uh, we would get into some of these buildings and we'd set up to, you know, start our, our sniper hides where we would, you know, provide overwatch for whatever, you know, we were working with. And Ryan wasn't a sniper. So these were the most unfun ops to be on because he was a machine gunner. His job was to sit there. And if you know, bad guys try to full frontal assault or something like that, then he would start shooting. Otherwise it's just snipers doing their job. So what Biggles had devised was I'm going to go and find every single window that these snipers could potentially set up in. And I'm going to go ahead and take a giant shit right by that window. <laughs> so when they set up there and have to sit all day, there's a giant turd laying there. That was what Biggles would do. He would shit by these windows. <laughs> we got we got into this building one time, and I'll never forget. My platoon chief, Tony, he's from uh, he's from New Hampshire, huge Boston accent. And uh, he's, he, gets in the, he gets in there, and he was like, what the fuck? And he starts losing his mind because there's a giant turd right on the window. So I don't even know how Ryan got up there and like crouched up there to do this like cr- turd right there. But he dropped a giant turd right by that window. It was dubbed the mad shitter. That's, 